Let us now take yet another sutram which applies to only a single verbal root, that two in only some specific meanings. This sutram is 3341, 3341, which reads Nivasa Chiti Sharirop Samadhaneshva Nivasa Chiti Sharirop Samadhaneshva Deshchakaha. The Anuvritti of Chehe is coming from the prior sutram 3340. Hastadane Che Raste Ye. So Chehe is coming down from that sutram. 3340. Chehe is of course Panchami Ekvacharam of Chi. So this app is again is being prescribed following the verbal root Chi. Nivritya Sutram says, Eshu Chinoter Ghain Adesh Chakakaraha. The Padacheda of the Sutram is, of course, Nivasa Chiti Sharira Pasamadhane Shu Adehe Chakaha. So the Sutram is prescribing two things. It's prescribing the affix Ghain to be used following the verbal root Chi, which is Chin Chayane in the Swadi Ganaha. And simultaneously, the beginning Chakaraha, the verbal root, is replaced by a kakara. So the two operations taking place, the affix ghain is being added to the verbal root chi and simultaneously the beginning chakara for the verbal root is being replaced by a kakaraha. But all this is happening only when the derived word denotes either nivasa, which means a residence or a dwelling, or chitihi, which is a funeral or a sacrificial fire, atwa shariram, which is a body, or when the verbal root chi is used in the sense of pi up or heaping. This upasamadhanam is interpreted as rashi karanam, means making a pile or a heap. Tachadhatvartha. So that is a specific meaning of this verbal root chinchayane. While the other three, nivasaha, chitihi, and shariram, they are. Pratyayarthasya karakasya upadibhutaha. So they qualify the karakaha. Karakaha means, of course, the participant in the action. And pratyayarthasya karakasya. This karakaha which karakaha which conveys the meaning of the affix pratyayarthasya. So these first three are qualifying the karakaha. The karakaha in which the affix is used. For example, nichiyante sangriyante dhanadhanyadi asminiti nikayaha. So this is in the Adhikarane Karake. So Nikayaha, which means here Nivasaha, residence, is that in which wealth, grain, etc. is stored. So it is a place. And this meaning of Nivasaha, Nivasaha qualifies the place. So the place should be a residence. So this is what is meant by Karakasyopadibhutaha. So in Nikayaha, the affix Ghain is used in Adhikarane Karake. And that condition of nivasaha conditions that karakaha. While the last one, which is the upasamadhanam, that is the meaning in which the verbal root itself is used, not the karakaha, but the verbal root itself is used in that meaning. Let us take the four examples in these four meanings. First example, which we already looked at, is nichiyante sangriyante dhanadhanyadi asminiti nikayaha, nivasaha. So it is a residence that in which wealth, grains, etc. are stored. The derivation is straightforward. Take this uh, verbal root chi and replace the beginning chakaraha by a kakaraha by this sutram because Parni says adesh chakaha. Add this affix ghanya by this sutram 3341. Pasarga here is ni. So we get ni ki plus ghanya. As usual, remove these letters. Nyakarasit sanya by lantyam. Ghakarasit sanya by lashakpatajite tasya lopaha. We get ni ki a. Then vridhya deshaha by achoignyiti. The ending ikaraha of ki gets the vridhya deshaha. Aikaraha. We get ni kai a. Finally, echo yava yavaha. We get ni kaya, which gets the pradipadika sanya by krit tadita samasascha. The other examples are as follows. In the meaning of chiti, the example given is achi yante yasmin ishtakaha iti akayam agnisthala vishesham. So that is a place in which 
in which the bricks are gathered together for this particular fire. Now, before going on, let us remind ourselves that the Anuvritti of Akartri Chakarike Sanyayam is coming down from 3319. That is what is allowing us to form these words, denoting a Karakaha, which is not the Kartr, not the doer of the action, but in any other Karakaha, these ethics may be used. So here it is in the Adhikarane Karake. Now, the example given here in all the texts is is Akaya Magnim Chinvita, which means that one should prepare this particular place for this sacrificial or funeral fire by collecting the bricks in that place. Now, this example is very, very old, and unfortunately, it's the only example available to us, so it's a little bit hard to know the exact context of how this word is being used. And this example also is very obscure now to us. So unfortunately, this is all the information that we have with regard to this particular meaning of Chitihi. And some translations have this as a funeral fire, some as sacrificial fire. That also is not very clear. So unless we see more examples of this kind of usage, it's going to be hard to pinpoint the exact sense conveyed by Chiti here. Suffice to say that this meaning is quite rare. Okay, so now the third meaning is shariram, and that is derived as chiyate asminnasthyadikam iti kayaha. So that in which bones etc. are collected together, that is kayaha means shariram, the body. The last one is nichiyate rashi kriyate iti nikayaha. So that which is piled up, which is piled up or heaped up. So this is in the sense of karmani, because again the anuvritti of 3319. Akartri Chakara Ke Sanyayam is coming down. So here the app is being used, Karmani. Or we could use 3318 Bhave, which is also coming down as Anubritti. And we can then get the meaning Rashi Karanam Nikayaha. So the act of the completed action of heaping up or piling is Nikayaha. So this is Bhave. It could be either Bhave as Nichayanam Nikayaha or it could be Karmani as Nichiyate Nikayaha. So Karmani would mean that which is heaped up or piled up, while Bhave would mean the act of heaping up or piling up. And then Gomaya Nam Nikayaha, Gomaya Nikayaha means the piling up of cow dung, cow dung. So Prakirna Nam Gomaya Nam Ekat Rashi Karanam Vityartaha. So the cow dung which is spread about in various places, heaping up or piling up of that in one single place, ekat rashi karanam, is what is meant as gomaya nikayaha. And finally, eshukim is why only in these particular meanings. The reason is that if we don't have one of these four meanings, then we just get the form chayaha. Chayaha means collection, gathering. So it doesn't mean either a residence or a funeral or sacrificial fire. It doesn't mean a body. It doesn't mean heaping up or piling up. So then in that case, we just use the affix ach by erach 3356, which is apavada for ghai, and we get the form and of course, in this case, there is no kakara desha. There is no kakara desha in place of the chakara zadhatu. The chakara remains the chakara. We get the form chayaha because here none of the four meanings is implied in this form chayaha. Hence, we cannot use the special sutram 3341. We have to use the apavada pratyaha ach by 3356 erach.